Hi, I'm Lenny Benson, and I've been working in the field of immigration law since 1984. My full-time job is I'm a law professor, and I would say a few times a week, people call me and say, do I really need a lawyer? I'm just sponsoring my spouse, my mom, my dad. I just wanna help my friend at work get papers. And I always say, yes, you need a lawyer. And I'm not saying that because I'm a law professor and that must be what I want is to create more work for lawyers. I'm saying it because I get worried about people who try to represent themselves in this very complex law. This is just some of the statutes and regulations in this book, and this is not enough. If I put all the books, physical books, that I refer to all the time, there'd be about 20 volumes on this table. And more than that, a lot of the law is not written down and not something you can find on a government website. For example, <clears throat> someone contacted me recently, they're a US citizen, they're sponsoring their parent, and they got back a request for more evidence from the government. And they were totally bewildered about what the government wanted. They thought they had given everything they needed when they followed the instructions on the immigration forms. The procedure in immigration law, the knowing how to follow up, the knowing how to fight a government refusal, all of that takes skilled legal counsel. I am saying that no matter what kind of immigration law you're going to do, I strongly urge you, encourage you to find qualified legal representation. Now that usually means someone who's admitted to the bar and is someone who can demonstrate a history of practice in immigration law. Sometimes those lawyers are in private firms and other times they work for nonprofit organizations. We are lucky here in New York that in a few of our cities and in some areas of our state, we have public financing to support the provision of free or low cost legal services to immigrants. Now, maybe it sounds like I'm saying give away something. Shouldn't everybody get a free lawyer all the time? Well, I do think that our immigration laws are so complicated and the system is so difficult, but remember there's almost always a US citizen or permanent resident involved in an immigration case. So when I'm encouraging the state of New York and the federal government to provide more support for legal services, it's helping all of us. We live in entwined families. Even the undocumented people in, in New York and across the country, most have been here more than 15 years, and at least one member of their family is a US citizen, if not more. The law is thick, it's difficult, it's thorny. It's like getting lost in the forest without a guide. If this is something that matters to you, either you personally or because you empathize with people trying to weave their way through the complicated system, there's a number of ways you can get involved. One, you can go to the Immigrant ARC website. I'm a full-time law professor, but I'm also a senior fellow at the nonprofit called Immigrant ARC. You can find it at immigrantarc.org. And there you'll see a link where you can register to have an email update whenever there's news on the website. You'll also see links in this video of how to follow Immigrant ARC on social media. In January, when most of our legislative actors go back to work, whether it's city council, state or county legislators, or our federal representatives, they need to hear from you. Remember, immigrants can't vote, but those of us who support immigrants or have immigrant family members who can be a voice, we really need to show that we care about immigrant integration. 70% of the American public favor some kind of path to citizenship for all people resident in the United States. And yet our lawmakers seem to be at loggerheads. We can break the jam by getting involved. So one way you can do that is support the bill here in New York called the Immigrant Legal Services and Access to Representation Act. It's been introduced before and it's come close to passing with just showing some support from across the state, we could really do a good job. 
There are more than 160,000 people in New York State currently in deportation proceedings. The immigration courts are really overburdened. There's 1.4 million cases in the court system. A large number of that, those New Yorkers and others across the system don't have access to good quality, free or low cost counsel. There are other nonprofits we believe do a great job on raising awareness with our legislative bodies and with our communities about the need for access to justice. One is the New York Immigration Coalition, and another is the Vera Institute for Justice. So you should also follow those organizations. And when they call for action, or they're having a seminar or webinar, get involved. And if you're listening to this, watching this video and say, I want to do more. I don't want to just write my legislator. I want to volunteer. Immigrant Art is a coalition of many different kinds of nonprofits. You can reach out to us through the website or write to Kristen Wagner at K-W-A-G-N-E-R at immigrantart.org. She's my colleague who coordinates and matches people who want to get involved with a way to serve one of the nonprofit organizations. There's a lot of need from everyone from unaccompanied children to recent Afghan arrivals. And if you are an attorney, please consider taking on a pro bono matter. It'll take a while for our legislators to staff up, fund, support, greater expansion of supportive legal aid. In the meantime, I always say to my students, we have long careers as lawyers. You can change a life by being involved in an immigration case. And Immigrant Arc and other organizations provide a lot of free continuing legal education. I hope you'll join me in helping people weave their way through the thicket of immigration law. Please get involved. See you soon.